Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 
Yeah, that's... Welcome to Clunk Time, population this game. I couldn't even see what shot me. That music is fucking awful. I'm pretty sure the Atari ST could do better than that. Hell, the Spectrum version is better than that. And isn't that the same sound chip? Yes, TZAY chipping them. Ah, that's the same noise I make when I sit down really fast and tight trousers. Right. Oh yeah, mini weapon, keep forgetting about that. Got oh, that scrolling. I'll shut up about the scrolling in a minute, but that's scrolling. It's like the dog does it on his own as well. Right, when you get that close, the melee attack kicks in and your shurikens just stop working. I cannot see the enemy projectiles. Probably because the scrolling is so janky. Also, when you jump up like that, there seems to be a little gap to when you get up there and you duck in. Dog. Right, careful. Oh, second bloke. Oh look, Sega owns an airplane. This is when they had all the money. No wonder they lost everything and they're fucking wasting it on jets. Wait! Right. You don't have like the bump mechanic that Shinobi gave you. I just I think I just walked for a projectile then. Where if you hit an enemy you bounce back and he bounces back, but you don't die. Oh that scrolling is making the insides of my soul itch. Probably not as bad as the music is making the rest of my soul itch. Right, don't fuck around up there, Dave. You don't need to. We just need to get this bomb. Right, you. How are you going to do the jump yard if it's this clunky? There we go. Still, if you like the arcade, as I always say, there's no parallax. It's painfully obvious there. And this was the only way you could have played it, was on your Atari ST. You probably would have been happy. I might have to watch my video on the Amiga version after this to do a comparison just for me to see how it, well compared. Right. Stage one, up one. Oh, you got the, oh, the bonus stages in this are awful. I don't think we get one yet, do we? You know, where you're looking up the tower into the Statue of Liberty uh, and you have to lob your knives upwards. Oh, look, it's Concord. True story. My dad was a draftsman on that. I say that every time I play this game. I that's my fucking dog, bitch. That magic's not very well animated, is it? To be fair, neither is the rest of the game. This is where it gets, like... Oh, you have got the jump back mechanic. It just doesn't decide to work all the time. Oh! That's... Oh. It's clunky town. is not helping. I'm going to have to use that dog. And Oh! Because you don't have enough room to duck. And when you turn around, it immediately moves you forward. And look how close I am to the platform. No, what am I supposed to do there? That was fucking lucky. Look at the little dog. He could still take a chunk out of their ankles. I'm going to have to do this, aren't I? No! Oh! Frisbee hands, guys, are fucking pain in the ass. To be fair, the arcade level of this has its uh, clunkish moments. was my dog dying noise. Of course this pad's not helping on the Super Console X because that's what I'm playing on. So I roll. Hey that worked. It's gonna come back though isn't he? But yeah. problems.
Yeah, right. We gotta do that. Oh, yeah. I just realised he's got a reload pattern. No, you. Which what? Fucking shot me. That was D-pad problems. This is the thing, isn't it, though, when you uh, only got one button and you have to use up his jump. I think you had to on the Amiga as well. Even though you could use two buttons on the Amiga, they were just lazy fuckers most of the time. Because, you know, probably because most of the games are ST ports. Turn around. That should get me out of trouble. Oh, no, I just realised what's next. Fuck it, I need to save my magic for that. The controls are too clunky for any level of precise platforming when you've got those irritating blokes there, you know, and lack of space for close quarters and melee, melee, whatever attacks. That was an accidental thumb slip. I do like the beatbox sound it makes when I kill them. Music shit. Oh! For the love of God! Why did you release a computer in 1987 where you couldn't have two independent button inputs? Atari? Seriously? I mean, fuck me, the uh, 7800, when was that fucking designed? I'm not talking about when it was released, I'm talking about when it was designed. See, I, oh no, he survived. I'm getting fucking pissed off now. Two buttons would make such a big difference. And playing on a control pad that's not shite, to be fair. And scrolling it doesn't make the inside of my soul itch. No, I don't want you to go that way. I want you to go that way. We making progress? No, because we got. See, when your dog runs over, you can't tell if there's a projectile coming. Turn around! Fuck me, that was lucky. Ha! Ah, it's facing the wrong way. I think this is it. Better not fucking because of course you did. There's nothing I could do there. It's such a steep incline. It's a fucking diagonal. What am I supposed to do? No. When, when Pinball Alley happens, i got no fucking Scooby what's going on. I don't remember the Amiga version of being half as shit as this. It probably was, to be fair. But this combination of incredibly clunky controls coupled with incredibly bad scrolling coupled with an incredibly shy control pad, which is beyond its fault. I am aware of that. However, not having two independent buttons. Fucking Atari, you dumbasses. I don't even know if it's him dying or me dying. One more, because my thumb can't take any more of this. Nor my stomach. I've just had breakfast and this scrolling is raw. I feel like I should be taking travel sick pads. Pads? Pills? Or sticking one of those chains on the back of my leg when I walk around the house. You know, remember them? I'm a dog. Oh! It's like he jumps and the gravity just sucks him straight down. I'm pretty sure he doesn't do that fast in the arcade. 
And I am aware that people out there can probably piss through the solitary sea and all the Amigo on one credit. Good for you, we all need life goals. New! Jump! See? Sometimes you bounce off them, sometimes it's just instant death. Which, to be fair, is sweet, sweet relief from this. Sega Master System pisses all over this. Yeah, look it up. Look at me getting all quiet because I'm concentrating. Like it's going to make any difference. I generally feel sick. I just thought I'd tell you that. Oh! Can he shoot dog? Can the dog go small? Or has it got one of your fucked up attacks? Oh, this guy's... There we go. Why aren't you moving? Oh yeah, because he's dead. Right, move! Exactly. Go to the next step. See? Wow. Oh, it's boss. What the fuck was that? I was just going to say the boss is easier than the entire previous level. That should make me vulnerable, wouldn't it? But you duck it. And then you jump it. But the thing is, there's so little animation, you don't know which one's which. Duck. Wait, what? I can't move forward. There's not enough frames of animation. I'm not magic to bollocks. Yay, I've achieved something today. I don't think I was even going to get halfway as far as that, because the controls in this are clunky as tits. So we'll do the bonus state, and by that I mean I'll fuck it up. And then I'm going to wrap up, because I really think I am going to be sick. Skip, skip, skip to the end. Thank you. Come look at the sky. It's like it wants me to vom. I like how they blow up in smoke. Or are they just disappearing? Because, you know, that's what ninjas do, innit? Yoink! That's not the Statue of Liberty. I am aware of that. Ah, slow down. Well, there we have it. I feel we all failed in this US Gold. I feel we all failed. Shadow Dancer on the Atari ST. I don't remember the Amiga version being this shit. I'm not saying it's fantastic, but I don't remember it being this shit. Controls are too... This level's not going to happen. Too clunky. The music is shit. And the scrolling is something else. Anyway, it's always, I'd love to know what you think. How are you going to spot a yellow projector on a yellow level? Anyway, it's always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you played this back in the day and it would do any way you played it and you liked it. I mean, you know, we all have our faults. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.